It's always fun to read a book that you uh, that's set somewhere where you know that area. For sure, former Edina resident and Rochester native Matt Goldman's debut murder mystery novel, Gone to Dust, is set in Edina and around the metro area. We're so happy to have the author with us on Mid Morning today, Matt. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Now, you're, you don't kill off someone from Edina, do you? We would hate Ooh. to. I actually do. That's how <laughs> the book starts. Or maybe some people yeah. would love that. Yeah. They find this very satisfying know. in the area. Yeah. Yeah. I, I went to a rival high school of Edina and had those preconceptions about it, but after I lived there, I found those to be not true. Not true. Really. I <laughs> said it there because n there hasn't been a murder there in over a decade. Oh, wow. Uh, when I started writing this a couple years ago, that was true. And it's still true, so I hope it stays true. But it For sure. yeah. felt like a nice contradiction uh, or juxtaposition to put it there. I like that. Tell us a little bit about your writing history, because you've actually uh, written for a couple of different TV shows. Yeah, I've mostly been a television writer for a long time. Yeah. I started here as a stand-up comedian, and uh, and I started my career in Los Angeles working on Seinfeld, which is awesome. Yeah, right. Yeah. Really cool experience. Yes. And you wrote for Ellen too. I wrote for Ellen. Yes, nice. when when she came out. So that was an exciting what time. What an amazing time to be yeah. a part of that show. And I've worked sure. on a lot of shows. So this is uh, new for me. So while you're doing comedy, while you're writing comedic television, right. what makes you say, is it just the typical creative mind where you say, like, you know what, I'd like to do a murder mystery? Well, uh, a lot of comedy writers move into drama, and I was in the process of doing that. And to do it, I was reading crime fiction as a way to educate myself about drama. and. After reading a lot, I just thought, I think I'd rather write a book. And so I did it. And it suits my personality to write books. And it's been a great experience. And when the publishers saw this one, they asked for a second. And when they saw the second, they asked for two more. So it's going to be a series of at least four books set wow. in Minnesota. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Thank what's, you. What's the kind of the difference been like for you from writing for TV to writing for a novel? You're saying you really enjoy it. What's kind of the big change that The comes big that? change is I'm not in a room full of writers. It's and, just you. Uh, my personality is on the far on the introverted mm -hmm. side. And so being in a room full of people 12 hours a day can be fun, but it's also exhausting. Sure. And, and so uh, doing it by myself has been refreshing. Give us an idea of the plot. The plot of this book is uh, that there is a murder in Edina, and the crime scene is unique in that the body and the whole house that it's in is covered in the dust and dirt from hundreds of vacuum cleaner bags. Uh -huh. So there's so much forensic evidence at the crime scene yeah. that there's essentially none. Nothing. And the Edina Police yeah, Department doesn't know where to start. Yeah. One of their detectives used to be at Minneapolis PD with my private investigator, Neil Shapiro, and so they hired him as a consultant and they investigate the case. Cool. Should be cool. I love yeah. murder mysteries. Hence the title, yeah. Gone to Dust, right? Matt Goldman is having a book signing party and a book reading this Thursday, September 14th. If you have a murder mystery, you have to go to Once Upon a Crime, right? Just mm -hmm. an incredible <laughs> Absolutely. bookstore. Absolutely, it's a great bookstore. In Minneapolis, it's 7 o'clock. They're so supportive of independent authors in the, this genre of writing. So great to have you with us, Matt. Good luck. Congratulations yeah. on the series. Thank of you books very much. Thanks. It's fantastic. Yeah.